Oh guys, it's so hot. Hello everyone, I'm here again, it's very hot. It's boiling in Warsaw. Bright colors, carded big hairs, exaggeration taken to the maximum. The most frenetic rhythms, but the most heartfelt ballads. This is what marks the end of the 80s in the world of music. But what about Poland? This is what I've been wondering. I don't know much about music in the 80s in Poland, and today I'm ready to discover. Guys, okay, many of you are Polish, so you don't need me to tell you what this is about, but this is gonna be the first time I watch to this music. So let's see. This guy's is music from 1985 till 1989 in Poland. And I start with a group, is it a band? With a rather peculiar name, Papa Dance, Papa Dance, Papa Dance. And the song is from 1986 and it's called Ocean Wspomnień. So the ocean of memories. I've always wanted in another parallel life to live in this slow motion. So super interesting lyrics, memories about childhood, nostalgia, and lakes and forests. In Spain, normally we go to the beach, but it's not in such a wild way, in a touristic way. So there are lots of tourists from Britain and Germany. This is the kind of holidays you get in Spain in summer. Polish people go to nature. They go to places where they can eat a bear or a bison. There you have it. And my friends prepared some trivia about this group. Uh, the band was probably one of the first manufactured bands in Poland and because of that critics usually thought of them as inauthentic and talentless. I don't think they are talentless, I think this is great, I really like the song. And they can be considered as an example of a pure pop band in 80s Poland. I really like the song actually, it's very intense. Okay, something completely different, we go to 1988 to the great Anna Jurkstovich. I don't know how to say this. Okay, and the song is called Stan Pogode. I know this song. I love this song and this is the best song to learn all the vocabulary in Polish about the weather they use. For example, niebo, mgła, prognoze, stan pogodę, sztormy, letnie burze, deszcz. Słońce, chmurek, mrzawka, grad mróż. I love it, it means like I... And yes, everybody had a stormy relationship that can be compared with climatic swings. So this is the song, you're talking about this kind of stormy relationship. This is it. Some trivia. From an iconic album, Dziękuję, Nie Tańczę, is arguably the best produced Polish pop album of the 80s. No wonder I love it. With music by great composer, Krzesimir Demski. Don't know him. Privately her husband. Okay, so everything was there in family. And lyrics are by Jacek Cygan. Yeah. Next one, 1985. Baim. So I already analyzed Baim in the early 90s video. And now I'm gonna analyze another song from the late 80s. It's called Serca 2, Smutki 2. Beata Kozidrak, I'm ready for you. Oh, oh, she looks extremely 80s here. Oversized coat. <laughs> a man wasn't a man in the 80s if you didn't wear a mustache. But Beata is divine as always. Fashion from the 80s didn't help men at that time. Yeah. 
well, putting aside the fashion from the time, not Beata, Beata looks amazing. I must say the song is, it is really good. So I, no wonder it's a classic. Some information about this song is the first number one hit and it's one of the biggest hits in their career. And it says also that Beata wrote it right after she gave birth. So maybe that's why she was so inspired that she created this beautiful and amazing song. But I think it deserves another kind of video. I don't know who this guy is. Is he the husband we were talking about? The following one, guys, is Ursula. I still remember I went to a concert of hers when I still didn't know who she was. I'm gonna watch her song, Shao Says on Ove Mod, from 19... 85 So ambient Ooh, to psychedelia I miss the ridiculous choreographies from the 80s Well, uh, okay I'm talking as if nowadays we didn't have completely stupid choreographies as well. But this is wonderful! What is this angle she's singing? So psychedelic. I'm a true fan of this. I'm telling you now, I am a true fan of this. Ooh. Yes! Okay guys, I really miss this kind of sounds from the 80s that the really true 80s sound. Not the kind of thing that they are now trying to emulate that sounds like 80s, but it's not. So this is it, a song could sound like this and it wasn't tacky, it was just great. And I think it's great, I really like the sound of this. And some piece of trivia I have, all the songs from Ursula's early career were written and produced by a rock band Budka Suflet, I think I know them, uh, who also wrote for another Polish female new wave vocalist, Izabela Trojanowska. I know this Isabella, she was in soap operas, was she? Budka Suflera in the 80s was a songwriting force to be reckoned with. The following one is a song from Dab called Ogrodu Serce. Ooh. Oh, reggae! This is, this is reggae. Polish reggae? Polish reggae in the 80s, okay. What kind of garden are you talking about? Someone explain it to me. Is there anything more 80s than a saxophone? Or an oversized coat? Well, yeah, shoulder pads. It was a brave attempt, and I have some more information about this. The guitarist and drummer of the band, Andrzej Krzywe, will leave the band two years later to become a frontman of a new band, Demono. So the guys I heard on the last video, okay, Demono, which will greatly eclipse the popularity of dub. So um, uh -huh. this is the old story that you leave a band and then you get more successful in another band. <laughs> But not just that, but this made a previous guitarist, Andrzej Zenczewski, come back to dub. And he left the still relatively unknown band T-Love. <laughs> this guy left T-Love for another band that was gonna go downhill. If you already watched a couple of my videos, it's time you have to subscribe and since you're there you can also write some comment and like my video actually i'm kind of amazed that someone is watching my videos but anyway thank you very much 